When the people moved in here, they inherited this rose garden. And it's not doing as well as it should be. It's got a couple of problems, and we're going to solve them with new edging. We're going to use vertical timbers as our edging. We're going to set them in and stair-step them up and down and in an aesthetically pleasing way. It'll look a lot better than this edging. In fact, this existing edging just isn't functioning. It wasn't embedded in the soil. It's not keeping the grass out of the landscape. In fact, these were meant to be wall stones, not edging. Whenever you're putting in a new edging on a bed, you want to outline the edging in some way. You can lay out a hose if you're going to make a curve. If it's going to be a straight edge, though, laying out a string and stretching it taut is a good idea. I've laid this one out so that it's exactly 49 inches from the fence. And of course, it's straight. I haven't gone all the way to the fence, though, and the reason I haven't is because I'm going to put my posts in curving up toward the fence from about this point. Now, most people, when they put timbers in like this, they'll put the flat sides together. But to make a curve, if you put the round edges together, you can turn them in any way you want, and it'll look really nice, make a nice, smooth curve. Of course, the first step is to dig our trench to put the timbers in. Nothing special here, just get it straight and three to four inches deep. With our trench dug nice and straight, the next step is to go to the very center of the bed and put in the middle post. This is like the cornerstone of a building, the very center. What we're going to do is build from the left and the right with a repeating pattern. And for it to end up just right, it's always easier to start in the middle. And we're going to make sure that this first post is plumb, absolutely vertical, both left and right and forward and back. And when we've got it that way, We'll push soil back into the hole and tamp it firmly with our hammer. There's no mortar involved in this. These posts are treated to resist rot for up to 30 years. Our next step, when that's good and firm, is to start building both left and right. We're going to put every fifth or sixth post deep in the ground like this, and that'll give our bed stability. All the other posts will only go the depth of the trench itself. Now the next step, as we nail these along, is to drill a pilot hole in our timber. That way the nail goes straight through exactly where we want it to. And then start the nail. We're using six inch pole barn nails. These are pretty hard to drive through a piece of wood. In order to make sure that we have the same rise and fall on our timbers, we've cut another section of timber. We lay it on top of our post and get the top even with the last one. And that gives us the same rise and fall on each timber. You'll find that when you begin, your timbers are trying to move. If you take another hammer and place it opposite where you're nailing, then the hammer itself takes up the slack. Again, right the post, and then go get another one. We've got the last timbers in, and they look great. They'll eventually all weather to the same shade of gray. We've got a nice repetitive stair-stepping effect that adds an element of rhythm to our landscape. We've put a nice S-shaped curve at the back here. Looks fine. But the main thing is this. This edging is sturdy. It's long-lasting. It was inexpensive, and you can do it yourself. And the pattern you use, your only limit is your own imagination.